Just hold on. Yo, please. Yo, hold on. What the heck? I'm going to let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Am I plankton? Ooh. To survive chapter one. Oh. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. So, what are you going to do now? Ooh, calling everyone out. Just stand here glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. You're right. She's right. Ah. <laughs> Listen to me. Sometimes if you're nervous and afraid, you just have to step forward. Mm -hmm. To forget some of the fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. This dude wants someone to pun punch him for that. Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. To look for a way out. Duh. What the? And we totally need to find what whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the heck out of him. But. But before we do that, maybe we should take out uh, take a look at the handbook. Yeah, please look at the handbook. It's probably best to check the school regulations. Monokuma mentioned before mentioned before doing anything this else. True, if we stumble around with no clue about what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Mm. Mm. Susume reside only within the school, leaving campus and Okay, unacceptable, of course. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. But you could be awake outside night hours. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak Hammy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited. Oh really? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Okay, so you can kill someone, but you may not be decide to make sure you don't get caught. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is whack. What the heck kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then why don't you wander around the school without care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens if someone breaks one of the rules. However... But he got punished like that, what we saw before. I don't think there's be a respawn, but yeah, he's not going to respawn. Yo. <laughs> he saw his face for a second, he was like, oh yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... Yeah, what does that have to do with this? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit. So I can't afford to die in here. <laughs> None of that made sense to me, but you're saying, but what? But you are saying you will follow those regulations. Is that That's it? True. Yeah. Okay. What's up? For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? That one. Anyone who kills a fellow student will become blackened. Will graduate unless they. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding it out. It was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? <laughs> I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've explained to us. Such. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab me. Give me a break. <laughs> she like that? <laughs> More like a full on stab. Well, for now, let's forget that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out exactly wh where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What kind of food about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need answers. Let's do it! Dang straight. Okay, let's start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and take them? It's easier for them? Well, if you're in a group, I mean, if he wants to go by himself, okay, let someone else go by himself, and then someone else dies, who are we going to blame? You? This dude. Hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying anything that couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. I really want someone to punch him in the face. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, He's going to um... be smug about it. 
So simply acting in accordance with what you think is best for me? Just hold on. Yo, please. Yo, hold on. What the heck? I'm going to let you run off and do whatever you want? What? I'm away, Plankton. Ooh. What? Are you going to take that, man? What? What the heck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your butt. Please do. Makoto! Man, you some kind of goody goody. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The command. Okay. You wanna throw down? Who do you think you're all talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? Whoa. No, no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Is this one beat me up? <laughs> what? He punched me. Makoto, throw a punch back, man. And I flew back in a heap. If you could get up, it was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was suddenly right here in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Why did you say something, man? Now you knocked out. After hearing that people were killing you? Oh, no. Not a nice situation. When I finally opened my eyes, what I saw was, what did you see? Oh, it's dorm room. Yeah. Huh? W where am I? As if I had been become part of my daily routine, I woke up in, in yet another room i never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use it to check a variety of information you play. Okay, so we have the map here. Truth, bullets, presence, report cards, review the report cards for each student at Hope's Peak. Can I check that out? This leaves ball. He's 6'1? Yo, yo, Makado is short. Yeah. Like, of course he got flung in the, uh, flung across the room by this moon, mon, what was, what was Mondo like? So we even got cameras in our room, so I can't even change in private. It's a notepad. I guess the school might have given one to each of us. Okay, is there anything on it? In fact, nice. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Yeah, keep your room clean. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. This would appear to be the bathroom. But it's locked. It's not opening. Is someone in there? This made the key to the room. The name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? This is what I missed. Looks something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new and still has a shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dorm will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell un unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is, what's everyone else do up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, now I can leave. I rushed out the room to meet up with the others. <laughs> but there's someone waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Oh, hey, Ayaka. Or Sayaka. <laughs> My mistake. Sorry, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Saika? Are you hurt? <laughs> Yo's voice. <laughs> hmm, you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built a t built some pretty good muscle jumping in down on stage. Yeah, up and down stage. That's good then. Um... But our you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right here, right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool from the beginning. Makoto. 
Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Hmm. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Oh, came to get me for what? You came to get me? Um, listen. If you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found. So does it mean that it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Who brought him back to his dorm room, though? That's good. I'll go ahead and meet you in the dining hall, then. I guess I'll find out in the dining hall who brought me. Who's, who's my neighbor? Kyoko. And we got this dude. Okay, so I got some, I got some interesting roommates. Okay. Yeah. But you... This is really the dormitory dining hall. Um. Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, I guess that's not really important right now, but with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Well, actually, that is kind of important. Imagine being you're in prison, but the place is nasty. I'd rather it be clean, at least, you know? Nobody was, I mean, try, I'm trying to be optimistic, at least look at the pros. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, okay, we'll just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously. Let's have a major intuition. Is it really just intuition? Mm. This is kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about reactions. Um. This is... Now this is kind of... Yeah, I want to ask something. What do you want to ask me? Blackroot Junior High? Yes, let's get this background going. Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. I know you. <laughs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates around surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as though as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me? Hey, Makoto! <laughs> it's, it's because of your height. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I was just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Hmm. Well, that's true, but there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to never stand out. I'm average at everything, and my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would co What's a normal hobby, man? You're so strange. Strange that... <laughs> she started googling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. You're amazing, Makoto. I don't trust you, though. You could kill me any moment. <laughs> you could stab me in the back down the road. Now I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not that any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out, out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! Haha, -ha, okay. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There's going to be a clock around here somewhere. Yeah, we got a clock over here. I'll check out the clock in a second. So I want to see if there's anything else I can check out in the room. So I already talked to her. Um, what's this exactly? I'm not going to wander around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. Um, so what time is it right now? 7 o'clock at night. And curfew is at... Or night or sleep time is what? At 10? Whatever they call it. Um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Wait a second. That was like 8 in the morning. He was knocked out for that many hours? Man. I see. Without being able to, able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. I have to say, this place is too long. I can't- if I have to stay in this place for too long, I might go just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. 
almost like he he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors, right as Sayaka said that. Hey, hey, hey. Makasa Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. But I guess it means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got he is. So he has too much energy. He's too hungo. Like, well, I don't want to give up. Next time I swear, I win no matter what it takes. Just the shout always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Of course, that dude's back there sitting by himself with the other girl there. He's probably going to use her or manipulate her or something for his own benefit. Okay, share what we found here. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, she's not here. She's not here. Oh, yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. Is she dead? I'll be mad if she's kind of dead low key. She's, she was kind of cool. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Could, could it be because... Yes, indeed. Someone killed her? Mm. <laughs> hmm. Already? My dad be... That's insane. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. It's not impossible. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko, you're gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Yo, this dude. <laughs> Not only this late, she didn't tell anyone that she would be late. It's almost, it's, it's most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackhole right now, you know that? Yeah, chill, man. What do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that I that the first session the host became again everything has not begun. Um. Makso, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Hmm, you know? Huh, what's up? I feel like I really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Why do you really want to become my personal assistant? Like some childhood crush and stuff? I don't trust you. <laughs> what? Watching that she's actually the most trustworthy person? <laughs> I don't know though, I, I, I'm, I'm the skeptic like that. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I've given everything I've got. No, you already done so much as my assistant. Now I gotta talk to everybody. Hey, yeah. Okay, first one I want to talk to is you, Mundo. I wanted to talk to Mundo first. I have to talk to. Okay, I guess I have to work my way around. <laughs> because I, yo, I straight up don't talk to him. Square up. <laughs> round two. Okay. Um, but no one else I could talk to though. Um. Let me say what's been going on. Okay. You see. Buyaka and Taka went off on their own. Both of these two went on their own. Interesting. I'm curious to see where Taka went, not necessarily Buyaka. Actually, did Buyaka, well, he went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. No, hold up. Kyoko, she also, okay, so those three went off their own, okay. I'm going to see where Taka went. I'm more curious about Taka. Let's, oh. Oh, I just have to ask him. Okay. Since I'm looking around the dormitory and. That man's covering the center. I found out there is. Exactly what I feel like Buyaka wouldn't tell me anything to an extent. They may okay. One room for each person. Uh, yeah. No kidding, man. Okay, so we have everyone with the keychain, which confirmed that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. But why was there a bathroom locked? And Chihiri and I found out that all the rooms are soundproof. All the rooms are soundproof. Okay, so she wants her. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs at you when you hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Who brought me to my room, though? But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Only locks in the bathrooms in the girl bathrooms in the girls' dorms. So then, why was my door locked? Was that really my room? But when I checked my bathroom before door before, it was definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that hey, later. Come on. Okay. Okay. So they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better that. <laughs> yo, chill. Better to have that have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it be, Mister Honor? Okay. Got it. That's all for my report. Let's not move on to. Okay. Who's next? 
Okay, what about you? Since I got it, since I want to see. I wanted to try and find some clues on who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made some such discoveries. That's all for me. I knew you wouldn't give crap, man. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything naturally, I would become have more to say. So I didn't. So I don't. But would you really? Would I? I don't really tell people half the truth, not gonna lie, personally. Because I don't trust anyone here. You see. Okay, and then it continues on. Okay, no. We're gonna land here and all split up together. So Leon, Hero, Junko, and she here. Okay, interesting group right there. Down the hallways, double checking the windows, all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was nothing at all. Nothing, but not okay. They couldn't get any of them what off. I do? There wasn't any hope to escape anywhere. The school really hasn't been cut off. This is bad. Mm-hmm. Bad, 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 bad. Mm-hmm. Hina Sakura and Mondo also went together. So let's suck on Hina. Okay. Let's see where they went for it. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with outside. So we went all went looking over. Sorry. We didn't find anything. Okay. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? Maybe with Sakura what? and me, we both wouldn't budge. Okay. Shit. Yes. So they all tried it. Well, it is metal, yeah. This sucks. Mm, I feel like I could cry. Last man, my hydration. So I should tell you what happened next. Okay. It has nothing to do with the communicate with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there there was a set of stairs leading to another floor. What? But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we didn't check out them out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we were only able to search the first floor. Yeah, because there's the bars on the door on the thing. However, we can't further assume that there is a point potentially something above the second floor as well. Yeah, what is up there? If that's the case, there is at least a chance that may lead to a way out. Interesting. If I'm being honest, I can't say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent some time, time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the type to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, what? <laughs> if you <laughs> invited me. Push yourself. Yeah, oh my god. I don't. I can't with this girl here. I mean, I feel bad that you want. I mean, it's like you want to be invited. And yeah, you and, but you can't always wait for someone to invite you, you know. Sometimes you just have to push take your step forward. But at the same time, I mean it's not it's still not easy. What the? But if you want to go to someone, you should have said something. Forget it. Like if I want to go anywhere. With Whoa! Huh? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You'd been make sick <laughs> Yo, don't Yo, you're about to get beat up. I haven't had to react. I can't say something to off to someone you just met. Hey, come on. Alright guys, everyone just calm down. All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. <laughs> Yo man. Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are close now that you're fighting like sisters. That is messed up. Yeah, that oh go, that jealousy right there. Okay. Um. I went and looked had to look around the dining hall. Around the fridge and back to the kitchen and was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. So I had to be um Kyoko who brought me that's her name, right? Who brought me to the um to my that's room. Good. I guess we don't or maybe I assume at least. What? Sure for now. But even with that all that, there were fifteen of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What? I'm a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokuma said. Yep. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of while, nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving around with a re remote control. A weaponized toy that can appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, but was everything okay? He didn't try to act like, try to like, eat you or anything. Eat her? You mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Yo, why you got? <laughs> Yo, that's sick. That's <laughs> eat what? What are you eating? Some cake? Like, 
Come on, man. The heck, Fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Yeah. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. You're right. There is no good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop cruising around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cuts through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending a splendid time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Oh, that's her talking. <laughs> do you really think that you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. What? What is this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Academy. Yo, I've been had that. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're freaking us out right now. But more important. I think it is important where she got it. Where did she get it? Where was she the whole time? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out the precise same way as Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is the whole Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't really know the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then... This really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Or at least a place that looks like it. Or something like that. So stupid. It's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But... But if this really is Hope's Peak... Where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's stop talking all this, about all this. You know, negative stuff. He, well, he wants to have positive vibes. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's it to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every, every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> He's quite... optimistic. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm just so happy that is. That is all. It seems splitting up and investigating was a good idea after all. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find any way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's g g going on. Oh. Uh huh. Is that crystal clear? It's not. Yeah. Are you okay with this? Ooh. It's perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. It's pretty clear what's going on. What are you talking about, Toko? None of us have had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality. Yeah, this song right here is nice, but it was star staring us right away in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about it. No, no way out? We're too trapped here? What are, we, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Whoa, it's not even a joke. It's serious, though. <sighs> Everyone, calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like. Hmm. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability? A lack of survivability? Survival is not based on though on who is strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means that we will sp be spending the rest of the night. However, you all remember the rules regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Yeah. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be, will be. Yeah. Let's see. So we're going to nighttime. I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. Mmm, like, it's like I was saying, yo, before the other rule, there's that, like, other part of that. So, religions do not actually tell us not to go out at night. Yeah, you just can't sleep outside at that time. So, outside your dormitory at the time, yeah. 
I know it's that too. The way things are now, every time nighttime comes, we will all start getting worried and anxious. We will not be afraid someone might try and, and come kill us. What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, we will it will wear us down at no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. Rever, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree and follow it. I see, what do you mean? But I think I can agree to that. It's, it's like a little goth leader said, without some something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree completely. On behalf of all the men here? Who <laughs> You can't talk for me. Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good? Hmm. <laughs> If you will excuse me, I'm going to my room. Hey, wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. Mm. Yeah, because it was what, eight? So they probably been sitting here for what? Forty five minutes, an hour maybe? So it's like nine, close to nine at that point. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where to go from here. I'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. <laughs> so, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Uh, um. Well then. What say we call an Antisthenes meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can't reconvene first thing tomorrow. Huh? We can reconvene. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We have a choice. We can't wait. Yeah, there's... Yeah, what else do you want us to do? This sucks. This does suck. Then we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their own private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back in my room. Mm. Is this really where I'll be staying for the for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. All the girls' bathrooms should have locked on, locks on them, right? But mine has a lock. All right, let's open it up. It's no use. It's really locked. Low-key, that kind did scare me. <laughs> Biz, wrong answer. Not locked. Oh, crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Where did you appear, though? Like some kind of robot's ghost? Well, what are you doing here? Bakuto Denji, this is a super duper major, majorly bad. So bad, almost magical. Ultra magic, magical. Man, this song. Okay, uh -huh. I'll attack. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is just because it's locked? The door doesn't just fit? Just doesn't fit? Okay. Did you see the notice? What? You can't you read? The other thing at the boys' rooms had don't have locks. I mean, the lock on the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that pointless, I guess, but I'm not expert in the birds and the bees and all that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there's a little <laughs> trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. So it's turn and pull. Okay, one of those type things. Okay. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Ha ha ha! Yo, that that's kind of fun. At least I don't suddenly feel like I belong here anymore. Okay. Hey, wait! Dang it! It's already ten. Night time. Or no message. Okay, what's up? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now ten p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. 
It looks like a nightmare. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. We still have mom I while still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. If I was it was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at the TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed uh, into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept a situation of being suddenly dropped into. Mm-hmm. So this is how the curtains closed for my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It would be too much to hope for when I woke up, I'd realized it was all a dream. It's kind of lame as far as endings could go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. It ain't no dream, man. This is reality. <laughs> Begin from where you left off. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, so we're now on the what? The second day now here? Or I guess our first full day begins. Okay, and over here we can see where everyone is at. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, what was that? What's that? What's X? Yo, I love that sound. Okay, what's up, man? Good morning. Yeah, this morning greetings are quite a delight. Such as energizing way to start the day. You understand? It's trying to rhyme? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like that. Close that mouth, man. Where the hell are the ladies at? Ha ha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, he's here too. This dude. Let's let's let's. <laughs> Do I even want to talk to him? I don't like this dude. Get him out the way. Good morning, Byakuya. Huh? Did you not hear me? Hey, Byakuya. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Look at me while I'm talking to you. Speak up. I don't have time to play with you. I'm only here to get breakfast. I have neither need nor desire to talk to you. Now withdraw. No, screw you too. So he did hear me. He just didn't respond. What an uptight. Okay, let's talk to you. Now I'll talk to you. Best for last, right? Okay, what's up? Oh yeah, what? Chihiro. Okay, let me try to remember her name. You know, we're standing here exchanging morning greetings, but we can't even look out the window to see if it's really is morning. That's true. You can only trust those clocks, which is kind of I don't know. That that kind of made me feel a little different about that. Now, now you mention it, like, sorry if I was kind of weird. You have to apologize. I'm sorry. She looks really sad. I feel like I did something wrong. You did nothing wrong. She's just. I don't know. Good morning, Kyoko. Morning. <laughs> why why make her voice deep? <laughs> this doesn't seem like to be going anywhere. Um what? Did you need something? No, uh no, nothing in particular. Right. Well then. And she left? <laughs> Kyoko seems kind of how should I put it? Taciturn? Or maybe she just plays things off cool. What's that? Where is this? Oh, yeah, I wasn't able to go in here the other day. Interesting. Okay, so this is where all the food is. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. There's so many different kinds. All super healthy, I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. Um. Oh, knives! Okay, that's nothing to point out. Okay, looks like there's nothing else I could do in here. I don't have any reason to go to the school area. I need to go to get to Sayaka's room. Okay, yeah, that's my objective. Sayaka. Yeah, let's get to Sayaka's room. Okay, let's see what's going on with Sayaka, though. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Okay. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Hey, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. Favorite task. Oh, yeah, I can right-click. Nice. Yeah, action that. What? Action that. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I was just getting ready to head out, if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk? Oh yeah, sure. Where you headed? Um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? <laughs> Yo, this didn't make Makoto funny. Oh well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. 
true not to mention you also have your other classmates who are trying who may or may not kill you to try and get out to whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other whoever put us in this insane position she's right we never know when they might attempt my attack even her so i just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens whoever to protect herself well now that i think about it that display case in the gym entry area had a bunch of stuff maybe oh the gym okay let's go uh, again Come on, I'm kidding. Seriously, I have an amazing intuition. Am I really that so easy to predict? Dude, you're over here reacting insanely to little things, so of course, I think you're easy to read. For one who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. Finally, trying to teleport inside the walls, there's a chance you might get lost forever. Is that foreshadowing something? Can I teleport into walls intentionally? Before we actually do our teleportation, just stand there for a sec. I want to talk to this dude. I didn't know he was around. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, they stopped the music for this. Most what is that? Oh, why you, why I gotta start talking to you? You're already salivating, salivating or whatever. Mr. Nagi, Miss Maizono, where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman growing closer? <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love? There's really no other way to express it. But to say, I feel as if... how very poetic. Hey, um, Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Aren't you supposed to have good intuition? Nope, I don't have a clue. Oh, hey, what's up with you, Celeste? I hope you are well. Ah, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me too. I'm doing well as well. <laughs> I changed that common greens. It's somehow strange. Okay? Chill. Given the circumstance and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Celeste. Hey, um. Should we should we get going? Yeah. Um, and if I remember, the gym is down this way. Actually, yo, this is where all the people are at. The store. I should probably go tell me I can't go in there. This girl is weird. Okay, what's up? So go together. With those two, quite a combination. Yeah, they mentioned it. She's with the big girl and the other one. So, what's your problem? What's your problem? Be quiet. Oh no, I was thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make it perfectly clear. Me hanging out with, with two people sh who have muscles, where their their brains should be, is not by choice. Just a second. That was mean. Yesterday you were playing about how no one invited you. Now that's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never a asked you to do a a anything to do. Okay, I'm tired of stuttering self. So stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Yeah, good point. They're like water and oil. Anyway, it would be weird if they did get along. That would be weird. And here we are. Nice. Well, here's some stuff you can use to defend yourself with. I like scavenging. It's a golden Buddha. Why is something like that on display? Hmm, I have some significance down the road. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty expensive. It's completely covered in gold coating. Jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are to totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven your room a little bit. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap up it up in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Mm. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if, we were, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Okay, my Koso. He's on. Okay, he, he's being smooth with it. That was smooth. You'll protect me? <laughs> if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. So basically, I'm your weapon. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I could do anything. Haha, <laughs> yo, encouragement. The power of romance. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Oh, a date? 
Uh-huh. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Nit, and I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Mm. Yo, just being around each other, you no know, atmosphere or something. You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you'll probably get probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just, I... I've never really done it before. You don't have off of time to do... I guess that makes sense. You're just a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Why'd she respond to that? Hey, um, this is kind of out but Makoto, do you have a dream? Oh, future, future goals and stuff? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My dream is I have a dream. I've always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. That's unfortunate to hear. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. Okay, and that inspired her to become an idol. She was so pretty, like a princess. All she could sing, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> You'll got Google. But more than ever, anything else, there was her smile. Looking back at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melt away, melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your, dream, your lifelong dream? Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so ple pleasant. What did she do to try and become an idol? Huh? You see. Honestly, I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. Yo, look at her face. But to that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if something that's bad, something, even if it's something that's, even if it's sometimes, even if some. why can't I read? Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, you you, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. I'm speaking like the other girl with the glasses right now. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking some time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. It, is it really that tough? Is it no fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. We are rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much ha happiness. But that's why... The thing that scares me the most... If the world gets tired of us, then what, what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. I mean, everyone grows up and stuff. I mean, so Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get to where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope Speak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Okay, so that's her reason for coming to the school. I mean, when you put in that perspective, each of these people are here because they're the best of what they are, but they also, in the end, also want to have that guaranteed of success after graduation. Because it's like, hey, you're good at this, good at what you are right now, but who's to say that you'll be able to keep the same momentum afterwards and whatnot? Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. But at the same time, I mean, that's just to have a guarantee with that. I mean, I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out here, there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka? Why? Oh man, I can't afford to be stuck in here. That's the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. 
but I can't understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with it, a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, hey, um, everyone needs a vent to someone. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So. Okay. Okay, there you go. Food brightening up the mood. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not. You may not. I might not li look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Oh, some cooked food. Okay. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> oh, okay. She's kidding. Okay. She had me too. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. That was a quick change of attitude, but I mean, no point in worrying about it. It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. You're onto something, Makoto. Like I said, something ain't completely right with her. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. They should have grabbed it. Anyway, there's still plenty of time in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with the free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Let me know what this is about. Anyways, why don't you try spending time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with. Don't you think? The game's kind of pushing me towards this. What makes you think I want her as, as the ideal partner to begin with? That was the best sound. That was creepy. Okay, let's go figure out where everyone else is. Dining hall. They're both in the kitchen. She's in the laundry. Sayaka's in her room. Toko's in her room. I guess I could say hi to Sayaka, but I kind of want to say hi to other people right now. Um, let me see what's going on in the hallway with these these three. Mm -hmm. Ahoy hoy! Remember me? The one and only Hifumi Yamada! Okay, you, you're a useless conversation right there. Where's everyone else at? Okay, Junko. Look, it's all. Getting stuck in here is, like, totally disgusting. I want to get out of here. <laughs> what, what kind of accent was that? Before anything else, I actually want to go to the gift shop. I want to check out that gift shop that was around. Okay, you have this definitely the school store, but there's all kinds of Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a clutter antique store. What is this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Uh, sure, I want to give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Do I have to press stuff or? Repeat. Nice. So for one coin, I get multiple items. Nice. So I got a little sword. Um. Oh, AV room is like what right here? Yep. Okay. What's this? It's a DVD player. I don't see an actual disc nearby. The DVD player is useless by itself. If we had something to watch, at least it'd be help pass the time. Okay, so if I get a DVD player, then DVD, then I could use it right there. I guess first I'm going to talk to Saika. Okay, let's go to Saika. I have to talk to Saika. I have to. Okay, Saika. I guess I should press the doorbell. I guess. Listen. What's up? I'm so anxious. I'm really afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Saika for a while? Spend time with Saika? Go see who else is around. Yeah, let's say Saika. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for, you, for making you take the time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Saika. Saika and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Saika a pre present? Nope. Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Well, what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... 
I guess that kind of was formal, but it's because I know I could count on you. Where are you going with this? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why. I hate that we have had to meet again under such awful circumstances, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Hee hee hee. Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't... It really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I wouldn't just go around staring at you. That's kind of weird. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. What? Sayaka, you're over here saying that pretty calmly. I, that sounds creepy. Huh? I... I was always looking for opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Thank you for asking, Makoto. Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was something, it was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, the bird once every thousand, okay. A huge bird wandered onto the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been Sparrow, a crane, a heron. Okay, it's no Sparrow. It's definitely a crane. I don't know what a heron is. I could say a heron. It was a crane. If it was a big bird, it just walked around okay. into the pond. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it to the forest behind the school. He helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was really in charge, already in charge of taking care of the animals at school, they made me do it. You see. You should have said thank you then. But is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. What the heck is going on? Sayaka, you are acting weird right now. You're a crane? You could turn into an animal? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh. This <laughs> Honestly, though, I was impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at the train station somewhere downtown, that'd make nice for a dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you helped me find a way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see. It's just intuition. I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I could do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Mm-hmm. Heh <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said that. Said it. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Make, makes me what? Makes me, oh, make happy, yeah. I was glad to feel that way. Saika's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill. Melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Okay, I got a skill. I headed back to my room for a little while. It's nighttime? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Mm -hmm. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. So dining room is okay. okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good dining night. hall Sweet strictly night. prohibited. Don't let the bed bug fight. Ha <laughs> That makes sense because that's where the knives are. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her 
desperation is coming from, I can't share it in. Share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. Hold up. While you're going through this memory thing, Makoto, I just want to check out her report card. Oh, there's also page two. Okay. The thing I remember Makoto most from junior high was when the crane got stuck into the school pond and he helped it get free. I always wanted a chance to talk to him after that. Melody's voice. Pressure Zender is way different from anything a normal high school like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her. No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. Ahem, ahem. So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our new students, new students already are filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. Hoo hoo hoo. So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time yet? Heart pounding excitement. Heart pounding excitement. Man, I can't hit my voice that high. Morning has come. What should I do today? Okay, my free time it is. Um, the thing else I could do over here? It's a notepad. Maybe I should write down that psych what Saika told me earlier. Okay, what's up, Saika? You see. Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? <laughs> eh, hey, just kidding. Hmm. Should I talk to Sa Sadako for? Yeah, I want to go talk to someone else. I spent the whole day with you. Let's go see what's up with Sakura. That's her name, right? Mm. Yep. Hello? <laughs> Whom? I should talk to Sakura for a while. Yeah, let's spend some time with her. Why not? So then. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. I can't keep going like that. Sakura and I sat down for tea and a calm, relaxing conversation. Okay. Get some tea and hung out. Sakura and I grew closer today. We'd like to give Sakura a present. My post training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Unless there are errands I absolutely can't get out of. Yes. I always do my training, but I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Does it get th does it get tough? Huh? I can't say. I've never seen it as tough. It's all so that I can get stronger after all, and I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight. From the day I was born, from the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as a champion. What is she talking about? That's one a heck of a legend. My father was my master. In every waking moment, I was spent with him in learning to fight. As a child, I spared in bo with boxing champions and hit the mat with a wrestling gold mat. What the heck? I was no match for them when I began, first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. Y you mean you actually started beating people like that? I say my specialty is st solid stand-up. That transition into grappling and strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else would just make wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Standing up, fighting, grappling, and strong ground game? That can only be. I know Jujutsu. Aikido. I want to say that has more mixed martial arts. Right? Of course. Of course. Nice. Okay. That's right. The most effective reward fighting style. Which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well, no, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time. If the opportunity presents itself. And she walked away. Yo. <laughs> Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger, stronger like Sakura. Even if they're real, I can't. Can it really be human? I head back to my room for a while. Okay, so each one I'm just speaking with a different person. 
There's still a lot of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. I'm a little concerned about Toko in her room, but at the same time, I feel like talking to her is not going to get me anywhere. But at the same time, I am curioso. Leave me alone. You don't have to pay attention to me. <laughs> hmm? Should I hang out with Toko for a while? Yo, hang out with her. I feel. <laughs> okay, let's spend some time. So I, I, I want to go through everyone, anyways. Hmm? Just uh, to do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I spent some time with Toko. Whoa! Why are you looking at me like that? Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would like to give Toko a present? No. What's up? She's a standard. Does she want something? She's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko. <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know. We're trapped in here together, right? If we're going to be friends, I'd, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What did you say? Um... After that part about being trapped, we're going to be... What? Uh, friends? <laughs> uh, what? What do you mean, friends? You think I'm, I'm so stupid? You're trying to trick me? I've already been hurt once before. I'm not going to let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Probably betrayed by some other people. They, she thought they were friends and then they just made fun of her and stuff or something like that. Come on. You don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me. Even if I know that. No, no. That's not true. <laughs> what the heck? Fine. Then tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they could call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Then tell me what, what I'm good at. Tell me what, what my genre specialty is. What kind of genre is she writing? She's writing some freaky stuff? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Toko? I regret saying that. If you really want to convince me <laughs> you give me a crap, you should know, at least know that the genre that the Ultimate Witch Project specializes in is... I know it's not non-fiction. Young Adult Romance. Young Adult Romance. Young Adult Romance. Young Adult Romance. I think it's Young Adult. Young Adult? No, that's not. It's Romance. Huh? It was... Is, no! <laughs> twice. No! No! Makoto! Don't do it! No, that's not it. I thought, I thought he was going to go through with it. <laughs> Man, she won't be getting mad. Here, growling? It's romance, of course. You actually knew? Yeah, yeah, I knew. Yeah, we talking about. I, I was playing around, everyone. The book was such a hit that fishermen shots. Yet yeah, they did say that. Man, I forgot about that. How did you know that about all that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Mm. I'm blind, you straightforward nature, but blinded me. Yep! Took her in off, screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Toko's report card has been updated based on experience with her. Nice! Let's check it out right now. The, um, skills, vo vocabulary. Okay. Once we were done, I headed back to my room for a little while. The third day here has already come to an end. Well, I... No, we... When are we going to get out of here? I lay in bed and stared blindly, blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fall into an uneasy sleep. Ahem. Good morning, Oh, they didn't say everyone. ahem? It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another be beautiful, beautiful day. day. The day. The voice goes higher in the end. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day. I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as I th that's th the thought process my mind, someone come to visit me? What? Okay, who is it? The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Hey! A fantastical warning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you're part of the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. What's up, Taka? 
No matter how intensely the storm seas may batter me, I'll not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You'll get to the point. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you. And you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm! I was thinking about last night, and I decided we needed to really come together. What, he wants to be friends? And that was when I realized. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together! Quiet down and listen! <laughs> and now the beginning of that fateful day, please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news! Taka didn't wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say anything. Well, I guess better head to the dining hall. Well, everyone's here. I feel like Taka has important, to something important to really say. Is anyone here missing? Looks like everyone's here. Okay, never mind. So then, let's begin our first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Hmm. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this crap. You dragged me hmm. here. I know. I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we must all cooperate, cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. But more important. Well, anyone? Did anyone come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. No one got nothing. Seriously? Nothing at all. Hey. It can't be. It can't be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nothing and nobody. No. Are you okay with this? Oh, ho, ho. so let's stay straight up. Yo, shut up. You are going to die if you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others. You will die. Ooh. Okay, Celeste, letting her know. Stop it. What the heck? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? Mm. You better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell mm -hmm. is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it sounds what? like the girl wants to live here. And hell, even more power to her. But still. Piece of shit! No way in heck I'm living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't <laughs> give a crap. Uh, um... Aww. Hey, what's up? You think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre? Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Yeah. A murderous fiend? Chihiro? Hero? Hero? Yeah. Do you have any idea who might be behind this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... <laughs> certainly is not to be certain. Con certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you ha may have. Okay, man. Let her speak. Yeah. Man. <laughs> have you guys heard of... Genocide Jack? Like Jack the Ripper? You mean the serial killer that's been on the news all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutal, bizarre fashion? The word bloodless was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood? <laughs> Whoever it is, he's likely a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they ca started calling him hmm. Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Oh, why are you biting your nails? Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Or some crazy killer. And if he really is the ultimate psycho, wouldn't it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. Hmm. But, but, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. But if they're the killer, isn't la like a killer a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everyone's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. What? Because everyone's because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> huh? Help? I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? No, he's been able to contact us, so I'm pretty sure they're getting word. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> Psych! That's the wrong number! What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard! Ooh! What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously? D 
Do you understand that role the police exist to fill? All they're good as being a foil. Playing against a villain or anti-hero even or evil organization. The bad guys come along to destroy them. And that shows just how bad ass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you have to do is kill. I just thought you kids were lazy and selfish. And here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Wait, I think, yes. Ding, 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 I figured it out. In other words... All the Mr. Ingredient are here. Right people, right place. Why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's why I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was someone very important piece missing. Well, what are you talking about? If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It's so simple. All I have to do is give everyone a motive. I have, I have a little video I'd like you all to see. But don't worry, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. Yo, that I was far from thoughts about that, man. It's a special video for each of you to showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Mr. Master is so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Oh, boy. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can watch. Yep, I know where it's the AV room. Good, then we can go watch that video right now. Before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Despair. That's all. Despair. That's all. If you want to know more than that, you have to figure it out yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. Because the Beyonce is entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. Ha <laughs> ha And disappears. Once again, he left before we could find anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intent of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. However. Perhaps. Okay. Perhaps what, what the video he mentioned. I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when he gazed and landed on me, he stopped. Oh yeah. Hey, Bakoto, check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? So now, see now, so now he's going to use me? Yo. Cause you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? I hate you. The rule. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Piece of shit. Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Please. Oh, okay. I guess we'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place yeah. alone. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Okay. Okay, that's kind of nice, I guess. Knowing that he, he has our back like that. Again, this Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yes. I like how Sayaka's joining me, though. Maybe not be alone. Get that school layout down. Okay, let's play this. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs. But this thing actually gets the same thing. The DVD player is used by itself, but... Huh? This on the side? Oh, I had to grab the DVD out first. Okay, I thought you already had it. A bunch of DVDs. Each one has a label on it with someone's name. That's been the video each of us mentioned. I better tell everyone. I would view it by myself first. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, use it to my advantage. Then I'll show everyone else. I didn't follow after. I just stood there where I was. The demons in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's watch yours. Yeah, let's watch ours. Okay. <gasps> Ah! His family! So, mother, father, younger sister, or older sister? I heard that without realizing, and my heart started racing. Because that's what I saw at the moment. It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come so true. So they're going to think it's like some Make boarding sure school. I'm so proud of you, son. 
But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Oh, man. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? That's nice. If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. I had to leave my family behind on Hope's Peak End. It would have been giving me hope, giving me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy. If a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling in that the video wasn't going to end here. There. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Wow! This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? Looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized that voice, of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky oh, boy. Oh no! like something's happened to this family's well-being. A motive? Oh! So his family is hostage? To this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it. I slammed my fist against the desk. Oh, he did hit the desk. I would have hit my desk too. I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think of anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here right now and make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. Is he going to tell her? I noticed everyone standing right at the entrance room. They stared at me, face full of confusion. Um, well, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed at the cardboard box. Is it like? Is this what Monokuma was talking about? What's on them? They all gather on the box, and each of them has gathered the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? Yup. This can't be right. This has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, this is all real, everyone. <laughs> Yo, she's freaking out. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they all had seen something that, like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered to hide the truth, their fear, and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. Yo, Kyo Fikiri over here, though. Huh. I see, so this was what he meant by motive. He wants us to feel our desire to leave, so that's so that we're more likely to start killing each yes, other. Indeed. It's a classic prisoner dilemma. Hmm? Yep, getting them all worked up. Imagine two strike, two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scam. Mm, so I was cooking some dinner, <laughs> to commit to scaling back the forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back the forces and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. That sounds like us right now. Everyone says we'll work together, but in our hearts, we're, we're all afraid. Someone might betray us. Don't put those other thing thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guards, you can just... Ooh, you saw him? Yo, those veins popping in his head? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? And she could probably kill everyone at once. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We need to stay calm. We need to calm down. Okay, then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help, what, help get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I'd say I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. Yikes. What was on your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? Whoa, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. Well, what's wrong? Hurry up and to tell us. Sayaka? I gently put my hand on her shoulder. Yo, stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. S Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? 
That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um, I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't we go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. She's like, yo, I'm trying to make sure I'm okay. Everyone went their own separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Okay, let's go talk to you. I'm curious to see what you have to think. What was on your video, Kyoko? Well. Why should I tell you? How about you, man? I'm curious. Uh, I want some, but... What the heck? What the heck, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. Ha 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 ha. Why are you in the back, man? What was on your video, Hifumi? Um, so it would seem. I'm not telling you squat, man. Why are you covering your ears? Yes, if you don't hear yours, you don't have to say mine. I don't have to say mine. It's a part... What are you talking about? I don't think that's how it works. Okay, well, I kind of want to ask her. I'm afraid she's going to punch me in the face. What was on your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? If it's real. And what about you, Chi? Hero? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how can anyone be calm right now? Why? How could something like this even happen? Exist? I just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like something like that. Is it because they really are murderous fiends? What about you? What was on your video, Taka? I saw. Sorry, it's gonna take some time for me to figure out how to put it into words. Mm. Okay, let's go find Sayaka. Um Where's Sayaka after? Anyway, the video is pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. I mean... But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real. What up, Celeste? What was in your video, Celeste? Huh? Oh, it is you. <laughs> you really want to know, don't you? That that smile, that's strangely scary. It's strangely scary. That, okay? that didn't look scary. There are many, many things in the world you are better off not knowing, don't you think? I, I respect that. Music change. Yep. She's in here. Dang. She is freaking out. I found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have an expression at all. Yo, she actually looks like she's dead. There's something, nothing on her face you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka, are you okay? <sighs> Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we end up like? How, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out. I want out of here right now. Saika, calm down. As she thrashed around, thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? Ooh, he's going to like do the look, look her in the eye and say, "It's okay. We're here together." I understand. And how you feel right now? When I think about what happened to my family. But now, more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened. People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everything. Right? Unless the whole world's destroyed. <laughs> so let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as to her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burning into my brain. As long as we work together, I'm sure we could find some way out of here. And to help, and help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes if, if that happens? Now get out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Okay, Makoto, over here trying to be a hero. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Oh! -ho! The vo her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Hmm. Sayaka. Jeez. <gasps> like Celeste was saying, weakness. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. <laughs> can I, can I believe what you said? Huh? That you help me get out of here. 
No matter what it takes. A absolutely. Makoto. <laughs> You're the only one I could trust. So no please. What happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? Uh, of course. I'll be there for you. No matter what. I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. <laughs> Makoto. <laughs> yeah, she said Makoto like four times. And you say that, I feel like I could keep going. I... I could get through this as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Uh huh. Like you said. That smile I've come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Of course he gotta show up, or it gotta show up. Makoto is standing up. What's standing up? What is standing up, Makoto? Come on! Do you even have to ask? Yes. Yes. Your flagpole. Oh, get the heck out of here! Just a minute. <laughs> the way it said that, your flagpole. <laughs> Says it so seriously. No, no, I want to join in. Dang it! Well, if you don't want to leave, then get it tell us that wants to join this freak. Then tell us what the hell heck is up with those videos. Ah, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. My pristine, pure, what? Uh, yeah! Stuffing. My honest, innocent stuffing is gushing. I feel disgusted reading this. I balled my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Wah! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided a punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, you are slow. Slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Dang! Makoto, you are a slow swinger! Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. <laughs> yo, <laughs> for real, yo, Makoto just got one. <laughs> it's, it's the stress <laughs> being in this place. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um. Well, for now, you want to head back? Head back where? Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Why, Makoto? What? What do you think would have happened if, if, if Monokuma didn't show up? Sayaka and I headed back to our dorms. We should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared in, into her room. Now with my now on my own, I decided to tell everyone that Saika was okay. Once I was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Makes sense, Makoto. Makes sense. I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do all the others feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. What's going to happen tonight? Who's visiting me at night? It's Sayaka, of course, yep. Yeah. I'm really sorry to come by so late. S Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? Why would I think it's Kyoko? Because I want to talk to Kyoko. <laughs> That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? She's afraid, and I don't blame her. It was so strange. Sorry, really, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, why I was laying down in my room. <laughs> Yo, for real. Makoto, you want to take care of that flagpole? I'm shaking. I thought someone was outside my door. <laughs> it would have been awkward. <laughs> it was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they all started shaking at the door harder and harder. I was so scared, I couldn't even move. I let some time go by, and I got up and opened the door to check outside. But there was no one there. Someone tried to force the way into your room? But who would do something like that? It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. Of course you should be suspicious of everyone here. What are you talking about? I'm not suspicious. Why don't you just stay in your room, my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? Look at you, Makoto. Over here, Jay. Hey, if that's the case, I 
I have enough room in my bed, you know. All it said in the school was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? Okay, Makoto, I see you. You said, oh, let's bend the rules even more. It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... But two, two, two people who are sharing a room is, you know... Ah! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Are you sure about that, Makoto? Honestly, it didn't, they, that, that didn't even cross my mind. Um. No, I know. Me either. Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for the... Switch rooms? Oh, just because of that. I don't know. I, uh, I mean, I, I, I completely, I don't completely trust you still. Switch rooms? Like, how can I even know that you're even telling the truth about that story? It'll help keep your mind at ease. Then it, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But are you sure it's okay with me staying in your room? Doesn't sound like a concern to you. <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. Do you have anything lying around in your room? Okay, etc. I head to your room tonight now. Oh, if we're going to trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh. Actually, that's kind of... Huh? Aren't you going to say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Why are you playing games now? Yo, this is not the situation. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn a knob, lift up the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no, no problem. Saika gave me one last parting smile and I headed out to my room. I looked around as soon as I got out of the hallway. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Make sure nobody's around to spot me. I rushed to Saika's room. If the game gave me the choice to walk around before I went in there, I would have walked around. So this is Saika's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. Anything in your trash can? It's kind of weird to dig through the people's trash, but I couldn't help but taking a quick peek. That's. There's any doubt about it. it was a DVD with her name that we found in the AV room. It reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if we wait until she brings it up again. But you took it, right? I don't think Saika would like me snooping around too much. I should probably head to bed soon. As I loaded myself in Saika's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Saika scent. Yo, dude, what kind of dreams are you going to have you having tonight? Good morning. Hey, good morning. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Well, she's dead, but she's in his room. That ain't gonna look good for you, Makoto. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Hmm. I sat up half asleep and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Saika's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast to everyone. I better get going. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good day at morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> morning. Hey, hey, what up? Uh, ow. Ow, 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 ow. I suppose I'm early. I suppose. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Sorry. <laughs> well, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. My morning duty took a little longer. My morning duty? Oh, using the toilet. Or doing something else. In front of the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. I slept through my alarm. What's your problem? <laughs> Yo, chill. No. I didn't oversleep just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blamed the Maria Triangle. This dude don't care about other people in general. They're kind of, they're kind to move at their own pace. But Sayaka's not here. Everyone had arrived. At least that's how it's supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, are we still missing some people? Uh. Sayaka and Buya, Buyaku. Oh, the glasses, dude. Yo. I don't know about Buyakuya, but I should definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late. What? Oh, never mind. He's here. What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. 
Have you seen Sayaka? Why would I have? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Why are you saying it like that? Did she forget about our breakfast promise? I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listen to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I need to go. I have to check on her. The words barely left my lips before I flew out the hall. Into the hall. Where I headed first was my room where I let Sadika stay for the single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of one night, the room had be completely transformed. What the heck? No! Wait, how do you get in here? If they show you the keys, the door just unlocked? Okay, first of all, the key. There's a keychain on the ground. It had my name on it. So this must be my room key. I gave it to Saika when we traded rooms. Or was this door just unlocked? My sword! This is the replica sword I brought back for the self-defense. It had been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Oh boy. Oh boy. I had a feeling something like this about to happen. The Lint Royal Roller. Looks like a lint roll is less cheap than it used to. More importantly, where's Sayaka? The bed. The bed's been damaged too. Is there everything else in here too? Toolkit's still inside the drawer and it's still sealed. Okay, I could check that, but yeah, it's going over here. I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. So many dots. No! I had a feeling though. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. When I saw it dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brim. And then, and then, everything went black. <laughs> 